This video may be unsuitable for younger or more sensitive viewers. You have been warned. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. All right, you guys. This one's called, He Got It in the End. Yes, this story is about a guy that I knew named Dennis, okay? But I, I'm, I'm not telling you their real names to protect their, you know, whatever, you know. But I'm not telling you their real name, but we're going to call him Dennis, okay? Look, Dennis was a cool dude. He was a cool dude. Man, Dennis worked uh, like 10 hours, 10 hours, you know six days a week sometimes so he was bringing in a little a little money you know and his girlfriend was named Shantae Shantae and she was a a little red bone or you know she she was she was a good looking girl you know so every time when uh Dennis was off she would really cook him a good meal and run him a, a hot bath and everything and rub his shoulders and everything, you know. So Dennis was in seven heaven, you know. He was happy. Dennis was happy. So the next day when Dennis went to work, she went out with this guy named Robert. Yes, Robert. Man, and Robert was a a drug dealer, you know. He sold drugs and everything. He was a bad guy, you know. So every time Dennis would go to work, she would go out with Robert, you know. So this went on for some times. It went on for a few months, and until we 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 start seeing him, we start seeing him with him, and we didn't say nothing. We didn't say nothing. We didn't tell uh, Dennis at all, you know. But sooner or later, this little guy named Walter that went to school with us, he spilled the beans. He told him that that his girlfriend been going out with this guy. They've been hanging together tough, you know. And Dennis got mad at him, you know. And the next day, Dennis went to work. Well, he didn't go to work. Yeah, he didn't go to work. He he pretend like he went to work and he doubled around and came back to the house, you know. But he didn't come in the house, he came back around the house just to to see what she was doing. And lo and behold, here Shante comes with Robert. Yes. And they went straight into his house, his apartment. So, I don't know, man. Dennis was, was he was kind of a, a meek type of person. He wouldn't fight, he wouldn't harm a fly. He wouldn't harm a fly. But I don't know what happened to him, but he left. Then he came back again. He went in the house, put his key in the door, and they was engaged in an act, you know. And you know what I'm talking about. So, Robert, I mean, Dennis had a gun, uh, a pow-pow. He had a pow-pow, you know. So he pulled it out. It was a 44, 44 Magnum, a pow-pow. He pulled it on him. And put it on them, and when they saw him, they were both scared. But but they couldn't go past him, cause then he he probably would have pow 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 them, you know. So Dennis said, "Man, what what you doing with my woman? What you doing to him with my woman?" And Robert was like, "Hey hey 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 bro hey blood 
let me go, man. Let me go. Man, this, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't even know she had a, a man. I didn't know she had a man. And he said, no, no. Y'all y'all knew, you knew that I wasn't here, that I, I was at work. And I, I, I'm at work and I'm working, work, working all these hours and trying to make money for, for her and stuff like that. He said, well, yeah, man, I, I don't got nothing to do with that. So then when when Robert, Robert said that, Dennis proceeded to pistol whoop him. And uh, then Robert fell down, you know, and he didn't have clothes on. So he fell down and was kind of knocked out a little bit. Then... Dennis proceeded to to S.A. his wife, his girlfriend, you know. So he, he did it to her, and then he pistol whooped her, knocked her out. And then he got Robert. Yes. He SA'd Robert. Bad. I don't know what was wrong with Dennis, what made him do this, but he had flipped out, you know. So he he got Robert he got Robert and he he brutalized him. Then he, he took a stick and put it in him too. Like a broomstick, a broken broomstick, he put that in him too. So after he did all of this, he fled the scene. He tried to uh, flee the scene. Dennis did, but the police called him later on, and they gave him like thirty years, thirty years. So then, uh. But Robert never was the same after that. Never was the same. He he wouldn't come around nobody. So, and uh, Shantae, she came too. She had a, a few bruises and bumps on her head and stuff, but she was okay. But these scars never went away. So she wasn't as, as attractive as she was. You know, I guess she can cover it up with makeup, but she had scars because she had stitches. You know, so it's a sad case. And I think Robert should be, I think Dennis should be getting out. Well, he should have been out by now. He should have been out like for five years, you know. He should have been out by now if nothing didn't happen to him. But, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all got to be careful. Y'all, if you're in a relationship, don't cheat on your, your guy or don't treat on, cheat on your girl. Either just tell them. Just tell them you don't want to be with them. And they, it would be much better then than if they had to find out this way, you know. Because they lucky. He could have went insane and, and took both of them out. And alive both of them. But I don't know. Well, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos with your family. Share my videos with your friends. Share my videos with your loved ones. And even share it with your enemies. All right. Peace. Adios. Salamat.